Girls, what is up? Welcome back to another FNAF AR video. Before we hop into the gameplay, I want to show off some of my new FNAF AR merchandise that I just got recently. I showed off these, the mugs, um, in the last video, so... Mugs. I got two Freddy cords. He's holding up a balloon, he looks very happy. Um, it looks like his eyes are a bit silver, which is kind of an interesting note. We have this gigantic cupcake sticker from the, um, Day of the Dead event. I was not expecting it to be this big. <laughs> Same thing with this sticker right here of Katrina Torchiga. This is freaking huge. It's freaking huge. Then we got this sticker right here. I, I really wish they changed the um the application icon to this because I think it looks very cool for the event. Then we got this sticker of the Jacko characters. Kind of hard to see because it's it's holographic and all that. And also it's very small. Originally there was uh, Katrina Torchiga in the back. I don't know where she went with the sticker. And then we have this one of them like howling at the moon, I guess. And then I've got some socks. Now let me just say, these socks, <laughs> ooh boy, these are some socks. The design's freaking incredible. The material, completely <laughs> garbage. I'm pretty sure it's polyester, like 100% polyester, which is not the best, especially on socks. So anyways, I'll go more in depth with those things and all the plus trap merchandise that I completely forgot to show off in a later video. But anyways, I wanna talk about this black ice frost bear skin which is it's, it's so, he's so interesting honestly he makes for such a interesting discussion because it kind of opens up the door for more possibilities of skins and i'll hop onto the game in, in just a quick second but i, I want to wait till the update is fully out because apparently there's more like features being added there's a new camera mode i don't know what that's gonna be hopefully they just bring the normal camera mode back at the very least i hope it's something kind of different though um and also other changes that i want to talk about but i want to mainly focus on right now is this skin as a concept and how it changes the game a bit so this is our first skin that some would argue is for a skin character even though technically frost bear is his separate character just like a bit baby for those of you who don't know characters in fnaf ar can be classified as two things either a character or a skin if they have a cpu meaning they have a different mechanic to other characters then they are a character so while technically frost bear is a reskin of freddy fazbear he has a different mechanic which makes him a separate character as a whole unlike Firework Freddy, 4th of July Freddy, who has the same mechanic as normal Freddy, he just looks different. And this skin in particular, the Black Ice um, Frost Bear thing, which also, I don't know why they call it Black Ice, because that's like ice when it's on the road and stuff, and it like freezes over the road, I'm pretty sure. So I don't get why they did that, but also, it's it's not much of a skin. To be fair, there's not much you can do with a skin of Frost Bear because he's kind of restricted to that Frost name, but at least like something holiday theme, winter theme, like a snowman or like a Santa Claus. But no, he's still ice. He's a little bit less see-through because he is black ice, even though it's still ice, it's kind of less transparent because it's on like pavement, concrete, whatever it's called. It's just so weird that they made a skin for a character when really it's, it's more just like an upgraded version of that character. You know how skins are normally like a completely different theme? Like you got Freddy, then you got Firework Freddy, and then you've got um, Shamrock Freddy. Like those look completely different, but then you have these Frostbear uh, character and skin who look basically the same, just upgraded slightly. So I don't know if he's going to be a separate character, if he has a different CPU, or like I, I really hope they don't sell it at the normal skin price because honestly that's just kind of a scam because it's the same character basically. Like there's almost no changes in the appearance. It's the same theme of ice, I'm just, I don't know, I'll stop talking, I'll get into the game. I know people hate when I talk about this game too much because they think I hate it and I people th make assumptions that I hate the skin. I think the skin looks freaking incredible. I'm just so confused and I'm leaving thoughts for you guys. So anyways, the event is about to drop. I'll hop into the game right now. Oh, they actually brought back the decorations. Yes, I, I think I mentioned, mentioned this whenever they put up decorations, but I love when they do this. Like it's such a small change, but I love it. Limited time offer. Huh, that's great. I have no money to my name, so I'm not buying anything. Collect the event tokens to unlock unique event items as the season unfolds. Yeah, so I have been... Oh my god, it's like a battle pass. <laughs> what the... Okay. And it just keeps on going. Keeps on going. It keeps on going. It keeps going. It, it don't stop. Um, that's a cheek alert. Okay. 
So, let me... 25... 25, 100... Okay, so, that's nice. I read that they learned about that. Um, so, I collect this. Okay, I got a lore from him. Wait, and... Okay, so, it, you just see what you get. So, what can I what can I do with my, um, my things? To unlock unique event items. I don't... I don't necessarily know what that means, but okay. What about the shop? <gasps> they brought the shop 12. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> ah, I forgot that he's still 17 freaking dollars. They they didn't change that. Because why would they? I think they realized that Frostbear was probably their best character. Like, visually and, like, just everything else-wise. <laughs> like, he's such a good character. Which is why I think they did this whole thing. Um... It's just, it's still so weird to me, the fact that they actually did something like this. Obviously, I like, he's a character, he's going to get skins. Um, I won't be surprised if Ape Baby gets skins in the future. It's just so weird, because he is not much of a, of a change. He's not much of a different skin. He's just a upgraded version, you know? Oh, wait, so what's this? Oh, it's still coming soon. What the heck, Alimix? Why? Why do you tease things like this? I do have the original, um, Frostbear little, little dude here. Do I have a CPU? Uh, no, I actually don't, so that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, it's just... I don't know. I guess I'll have a, have a look at him in-game, uh, to see what he's like, but I'm just... I don't know how I feel, man. Ooh, I still have a Frostbear lore, actually, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so here we go. Black Ice... Frostbear. Is Black Ice one ward? I actually have no clue. So, I remember how he, uh, Frostbear operates. I'm guessing, because it's a skin, it has the same mechanic as the character, so it has the same, um, CPU, mechanic, all that stuff. Let's have a look at his animation, actually. Yo, he's got a spear! That's kind of hype. Okay, so he's still kind of frigid. 100% on both things right there. That's insane. Hmm, interesting. They also shortened his name from Freddy Frostbear to Frostbear, it looks like, which I like to do that just because I think saying Frostbear is a lot cooler than Freddy Frostbear. It makes it sound like he's a skin, not a character. Oh my god, you're moving around quite a bit. So, if you guys forget or you just want around... Oh my god, hello. Um, that's his mechanic. That is Frostbear's mechanic. He freezes your screen and you gotta shake, shake, shake. Uh, basically every other mechanic in this game that isn't a mask mechanic, you know? So with Frostbear... By the way, I don't think I'm gonna win, just because those red eyes, that was terrifying. Um, just because I'm honestly not very good at Frostbear. Like, just being straight up, I'm not good at him. The freezing mechanic is so unbelievably frustrating, which is why I usually shake a lot like this, just in case it happens so I can already be getting it off my screen. Because he loves, by the way, this is gonna be a terrible video. Just me shaking the phone the entire time. Um, he likes to freeze it a lot, especially when he charges at you. So, to be ready for it... Hello. I just do that. Ooh, kind of a quick charge. That's not good. Okay, he's right here, he's right here. Yeah, I, I just don't like the freezing mechanic because, honestly, it's so frustrating. <laughs> so I'm doing this a lot. I'm, I'm so sorry, boys. It's just, I really don't want to lose, because usually I don't lose. It's right around here. Okay. It's right here. Okay, right here. Should be. Don't let me down. Come on. Got him! Ooh, dude, see what I mean? He was freezing my screen as I shocked him. That's why he can be annoying, because he, he pulls stuff like that. Please tell me we get something good. Maybe his suit? Nope, some tokens. Ah, dang it. No suit this time. Oh, and there's his, um, there's his thing. So, I will say, looking at him fully in-game, he, he definitely looks a bit different. Um, by the way, I should have mentioned this in my last video, but I didn't. Frostbear is getting a action figure. I have seen it. Um, I am trying to look for it. <laughs> I went to my Walmart like an hour after I saw that post and I was like, please be here. And guess what? It was not. Yeah, so looking at it now, it definitely is a lot more different than I thought it was. I had no clue that he had a spear. <laughs> that is so cool. 
Um, I don't, I don't see them doing a whole lot more with Frostbear. At least I hope. I, I hope if they do more with him, they switch it up a bit. I feel like, while the skin is cool, don't get me wrong, um, especially looking at it in game now and seeing its full um, appearance, the full model of it, I think it looks freaking damn amazing. But I feel like it was also kind of a waste of a week because it's basically just Frostbear 2.0. I think this one looks so much cooler, but then again, you know, like you can't go wrong with classic Frostbear. I feel like they nailed him the first time around, and I feel like this is a um, pretty good improvement. Um, this does worry me a bit. I really hope they don't keep doing things like this where they release a skin of a character that's basically just like a 2.0 of the character. I feel like that's a bit strange. Also, when they release it at the normal price of a skin, that's just, that's just a bit weird. Also, I still dislike the fact that that's 17 bucks. That's still ridiculous, dude. Yeah, I'm, I I hope they do more with this event because you only get, at maximum, four character, well, not characters, skins, characters, animatronics um, in an in a event. So if, if you waste it, if you waste a week, you know, you, you can't really get that back. So I, I hope to see... I don't want to say better because this is, again, a very good skin. I just, I, I hope to see something different. You know, there's a lot you can do with winter themed. A lot of people are talking about snowmans, reindeers, Santa. It doesn't have to be related to Christmas necessarily. I think Lumix has done a very good job at representing foreign, well, I say foreign to me, a US citizen, um, foreign like cultures and all that stuff. So, you know, different religions that would be cool to see so yeah uh that's it for now again a freaking great skin i just hope we get something a bit more different in the coming weeks i also hope we get at least one character this event because it seems like it's a pretty big event so getting at least one character would be nice but at the same time i also see them just releasing skins which nah you know they're gonna do anyways so thanks for watching i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye gregory be still I think she's found us.